If you've got some DJI goggles too, you don't need me to tell you how fantastic they are. They're much lighter and more comfortable than the previous goggles V1 and V2, and the image quality is excellent. But they do have a few really annoying problems. No, I'm not going to talk about the fit or the annoying touchpad control today. What I am going to show you is how you can power these from a LiPo battery like this using this very convenient and affordable adapter from SpeedyBee. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. When DJI released these V1 goggles a few years ago, they provided a simple lead so that you could power them from an external LiPo battery. Anything between 3 and 6S. You just plug one end of this into your battery using the X-T60 and on the other end there's a standard 5.5mm female DC barrel connector. And then you just tuck this in your pocket and off you go flying all day without needing to charge it. And I've been using these old 5000 milliampere hour 3S LiPos for ages for all my FPV goggles and they rarely need a recharge. When the V2 goggles arrived, they had a dedicated DJI battery. The goggles input voltage range required was now 7.4 to 17.6 volts and this meant you could still use a 3 or a 4S LiPo to power them with a simple XT60 to 5.5mm DC barrel cable. So you didn't have to buy the expensive DJI batteries if you didn't want to. You could just use your old tied LiPos or just go and buy some new cheap ones. But when the Goggles 2 arrived, their input voltage requirement was a much tighter range, 7 to 9 volts. And they used a fairly non-standard 4530 male DC barrel connector on the Goggles end, and on the battery end there's a USB-C connector. So they made it nearly impossible for you to power these from an external LiPo battery, and you didn't have much choice other than buying additional OEM DJI batteries. And despite the spec on these saying you get 110 minutes of use, I found they never last anywhere near that long. So, Speedy B have come to the rescue with this fantastic inline power adapter with all the combinations of cables that you need for all three goggle versions. And it's not expensive. Depending on the cable options you choose, this will cost you no more than $19 or around £15. Let's have a closer look at this. I ordered this one with the cable for the Goggles 2, but you can get this with the cable for the Goggles V2, or you can get both if you want. And using this, well, it couldn't be easier. I've got my trusty old 5000 milliampere hour 3S battery that I use for my FPV goggles all the time. And on the other end, you plug the USB into there, and then you've got this weirdo 4530 DC barrel connector that DJI like on the goggles too. Plug that in, and that should fire up. There we go. Now, there's a little button on here. At the moment, it's showing the input volts 12.5 volts. Remember, this is 3S. Press it again, it's showing you what's coming out, which is 9.1 volts that's going to the goggles. Press it again, and it shows you the current being drawn by the goggles, which is about 700 milliamps. And that's it. You're good to go and fly all day on this old LiPo. Now, this wouldn't be a Speedy B product if that was it. This also has short circuit, over voltage and over temperature protection built in. But more importantly, it's got low voltage alarms, which is very important. So let's see if I can show you that working. Let me unplug those, plug this and take that off. Now I've got a bench variable power supply over here and I'm going to simulate this being powered off a of 4S. So it's about 16.8 volts. And let's just simulate the battery running down. Let's crank this down. It's going down 16.5. 
15.4. So a 4S uh, low voltage is around about 14.8, isn't it? Which is about 3.5 volts per cell. 14.6, there we go, it's flashing. Very important and very useful. Now I know that some people don't like a battery in their pocket and that's why DJI included a head strap with a battery holder on the cheaper Integra version of these goggles too. But I've been using larger LiPos like this to power my FPV goggles for years and I think it's just a much more convenient and cheaper option. And it's about choice as much as anything else. For now though, it means that with this Speedy B adapter that costs about half the price of a DJI battery, you can power your Goggles 2 or Goggles V2 from whichever LiPo battery you want. And I think £15 is a very, very reasonable price for this freedom. And I'll leave links in the description so that you can check out prices and availability. I got mine direct from the Speedy B website and delivery to the UK was about seven days, which is pretty impressive. That's all for now. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.